Welcome once again, everyone, to this wonderful channel. My name is Oluwale, and this is 2022. We are going to be doing something amazing. We are going to change the game. We are going to be able to overcome a lot of challenges on Google Ads. Welcome once again. If you are joining me on this live video, I want you to indicate by typing, I am here, and by commenting and sharing this video with your friends and family. So I have a very important thing to talk about in this live video. It's not gonna be a long video, it's gonna be very short. And I think at the end of this video, you are definitely going to like the information I'll be sharing with you because this might be the beginning to the resolution of your Google Ads challenges. So what am I going to talk about in this live video? So as you can see on my screen, I want to address this very briefly. What can I do if my Google Ads account has been suspended repeatedly? So I want you to take this as serious as possible because what I'm gonna talk about in this live video is gonna change the game for you if you go ahead and implement it the right way. Because I know very well that a lot of people are facing this challenge and I know it is not easy to overcome the challenge. So before we go ahead and talk about uh, what you can do to overcome these challenges or when you are facing this repeated account suspension, what you can do. Let me show you exactly why I think this is very important and why you need to take note of it if you want to actually be able to advertise your business on Google. So I'm gonna take you straight to the Google's policy page. Right now on this policy page, you can see we're right at the Google support page. And I want to show you something very important that you need to know. And this is from Google themselves. So if your Google Ads account is suspended, definitely you will not be able to run ads. The second thing is that when your Google Ads account is suspended, all related Google Ads account might be suspended. As you can see on my screen, that is the second thing you need to know about Google Ads account suspension. And the third thing I want you to see here is if you are advertising on the shopping network, your Google Merchant Center account might be suspended if your Google Ads account is suspended. By the way, all of this depends on the policy that leads to the suspension. And the next one, which is the most important thing I want you to see in this particular presentation, is any new account that the advertiser tries to create may be suspended. This is the most important thing I want you to look at before we go ahead and talk about the two major ways that can help you overcome this repeated account suspension on Google. Any new account may be suspended and a lot of people are actually facing these particular challenges because when they go ahead and create a new account before they know anything, they can't get suspended even before they launch their new ad. So you have to understand that this is actually Google's policy. When one of your Google Ads account is suspended, any new subsequent account may be suspended. And if you have been facing this issue of repeated account suspension, this is actually the reason why that is happening to you. And now I want to talk about what you can do if your Google Ads account has been suspended repeatedly. So I'm gonna talk about two things. So these two things, if you go ahead and address it the right way, you may be able to overcome it and you may be able to run advert for your business on Google without facing this challenge again. So the first thing I want to talk about here right now is that you need to start from the very first account. In case you don't understand what I'm trying to say, let me show you this Google Ads account. So this Google Ads account is suspended. It belongs to one of my Nigerian clients. And this account is suspended for one reason. The client has been suspended before this new account was created. And then this new account doesn't have any ad running when it got suspended. We can be very sure that there's no any new violation in this account before the account got suspended. So you will just ask, how come the account got suspended without running ad? What, what kind of violation is that? So the violation is actually this particular point you see here. New account of the advertiser may be suspended. And because this guy has been suspended before, now any new account he creates gets suspended before starting the advert. How is it going to overcome this issue? Now, if you want to overcome this issue, 
the next thing you have to do is you need to start addressing the issue from the very first account that got suspended. If you are with me on this live video, I want you to indicate by commenting on the video and share the video with your friends and family so that we can get this to a lot of people who are facing these challenges at this particular time. So you want to address the issue from the very first account. And if you don't know the very first account that got suspended, this might be a little bit difficult for you to solve the problem because the reason for the first suspension is what you want to address. Let's say the first account got suspended due to circumventing policy. And instead of you to, to look critically into the issue, what is going on, what you did wrong, and maybe you go ahead and appeal or take another important step that can help you get the issue resolved. You just abandon the account. The next thing you do is to create a new account. And before you know, the new account gets suspended. Before you can overcome this challenge, it is important for you to start addressing the issue from the very first account. For many people, the first account may be suspended due to false positive. What do I mean by false positive? The account may be suspended for a violation that is actually not true. And in, in such situation, do you have to just abandon the account and go to another account and start advertising? No, you have to address that issue. You have to make sure that Google look critically into that particular issue and get it resolved and continue using the account for your business. But if you go ahead and abandon that account and create a new account, then Google assume that the violations or, or, or the suspension has been accepted and then you are trying to bypass the policy and you're trying to game the system, then the new account will get suspended. I can tell you categorically that I have at least two accounts I manage at the moment that got suspended due to false positive. And after we take the next step, the next important step, we, we were able to get the account unsuspended. And when the account got unsuspended, instead of us creating a new account, we just go ahead and use the account to advertise for the client. So you see, if we have abandoned that account because of the suspension, not knowing that the suspension is actually false positive, then we will start having issues when we create a new account to advertise the business. So you don't want to be in that situation. That is why you need to go ahead and address the issue from the very first account. As you can see on my screen, this account was suspended, but after appealing the suspension, the account was unsuspended. And you can see I'm using the account to advertise at the moment. So if I have gone ahead to create a new account and ignore this, then the new account will get suspended and then I will start having issue. So that is why it is important for you to start addressing the issue from the very first account that was suspended. And the second point I'm going to talk about in this live video is you might want to work with a Google partner. Google partners are people who help uh, businesses to advertise on Google and they are usually certified by Google. So there are some advantages when you work with Google partner. And one of the things I have observed as a Google partner is that if a client account is suspended and the client continuously have repeated suspension after creating a new account, that same client, if I decide to create the account for the client and manage it myself, the account I created for the client will work without having any problem. I have done this and that is why I can tell you categorically that if you want to solve the problem, the other way you might be able to solve it is by working with a Google partner. So the Google partner will actually be the one to create the account for you. And when the account is created, you might need to provide your payment details so that he, add, he or she add the details to the account and start running your advert for you. So the only thing you might not like about this is that the Google partner will definitely charge you some money for doing the work for you. But I'm very sure if the partner knows what he is doing, you will definitely get the result you're looking for. So you might want to consider this second option as a means of solving these issues of repeated account suspension on Google. These are some of the things I think if you implement correctly in 2022, you will be able to overcome the issue and you'll be able to advertise your business 
on Google Ads. So I hope you have learned something in this video. I'll be open to answering questions and I also I'll be opening to take up some challenges. If you are facing this particular repeated account suspension and you want me to work with you so that I can get your business running on Google or whether you are advertising some product that is giving you a lot of issues, maybe gotten disapproved and you need this to be solved, feel free to contact me and I'll be very happy to help you. Looking forward to hearing from you and working with you in 2022 and beyond. Thanks again and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video and share with your friends and family. All the best as you go ahead to advertise and resolve issues on Google Ads. Bye-bye.